So seterusnya saya akan cuba aja macam mana nak buat animation. Animation ni agak very uh, ada yang basic, ada yang uh, modern modern basic lah maknanya uh, apa nama advance. Okay, uh, dalam ni yang ni saya ambil dekat internet je saya actually. I took this from internet. Kalau kita gunakan uh, this if you look at here kita dalam dalam assembly ni kita nak pastikan yang mana yang rotation yang bergerak kan kalau contoh dekat dalam uh, yang ni kita kita tengok dia punya pergerakan dia kalau kita pergi dekat uh, models behind the models kita ada motion of study di bottom ni uh, kita akan gunakan ini as, as a motion uh, assembly salah satu cara lagi adalah kita pergi dekat sini kita pergi kat tabs uh, sorry toolbar then we click on motion manager ok kalau kita nak klik motion manager dia akan tutup lah So kalau kita open balik toolbar, kita klik on motion manager, dia akan keluar lah kat sini motion study. The second point is uh, to go to uh, option, add in, okay. Di bawah sini kita boleh klik SOLIDWORKS motion, right? SOLIDWORKS motion, uh, ini adalah untuk advanced motion, kita boleh klik on OK. Okay dan juga dia akan keluar lah animation. Okey, untuk berapa beberapa animation kita uh, kita pakai basic motion, ada beberapa animation yang kita boleh gunakan. Pertama sekali adalah moto. Second one is spring, the third one is damper, fourth one is force, contact, gravity, and then we have can plot the results and the motion study properties. So dalam yang ni, yang ni saya dah ambil daripada internet. So dia dah tunjukkan a little bit of it. They have drawn it using rotary motion. They click on the rotary motion, set the rotary motion. If you go to edit feature, you can see that the face of the this one and the face of this is rotating. So, bila benda ni rotating, okay, dia rotating ke kanan, at the constant speed, at the team, kita boleh change ni to 50, let's say 50. You can see dia punya um, um, this, uh, contact surface dan juga Um, ah, buat masa ni dua perkara sajalah dengan rotating ni kita, kita, kita tak sempat nak buat hari ni motor ni kita tak sempat nak buat tapi yang for this one kita boleh nampak lah motor macam mana function ni lah ok macam mana function motor tu kita boleh tahulah dia bergerakkan dia movement dia left and right so ok so start with first saya akan lukiskan satu new I will first draw a part Uh, the most easiest part is to draw a ball lah. Okay, so front plane. Click on the front plane. Specify. So I'm going to draw a, a apa ni panggil ni? Semi circle lah. Not a semi circle. Uh, quarter circle. Alright. So quarter circle which is about Specifying it about 23.15 Ini saya ambil je lah value ni saya pun tak I'm not really particular about the, the ni And then I'm going to revolve this Okay At the axis revolution of this one I Click on OK So we have a circle And I'm going to Use a mirror And mirror this revolve And a plane Click on the plane on the right uh, Sorry the top plane And click on OK. So in the end, this ball is going. This is going to be a ball lah. They can jadi bola lah. So I'm going to save this. Okay, save this as one part. Alright. So save it. Save as uh, desktop. New file. Okay, a new exam new assembly okay kita click on ball click save so we have one ball and then we can also render this ball change uh, the punya appearance color dia make it more like a, a plastic uh, rubber eh. rubber pun boleh okay click on it as more as like a rubber you can specify this uh, just by transferring it to there and uh, this one is also you can also use glass transfer it to glass yeah they can hasilkan glass lah. 
So this one is to uh, render render the ball. Okay. So we have finished with this one. Okay. Do we close this one? Save all. The second one, what I'm going to do is, uh, okay, before that, before this, you can actually see, okay, yang ni bola yang kita buat dah hasil ni, you can also use this as animation as well. Okay, contoh yang kita nak buat ini, kita nak buat, okay, motion study. Kita cuba tengok dia punya, the study of this motion. Click on Hmm. <coughs> oh, kenapa dah putus view lah eh? Okay. Okay, click on animation. Select on animation wizard. Dekat sini. And then kita tengok dia untuk rotate model. Okay, next. Click on... So kat sini kita tahu dia punya axis dia at the moment kita nak run dia on X or Z axis. So number of rotation let's say lah kita buat 10 of rotation clockwise duration 10 second. So bila kita run tu kita boleh tengok lah dia punya rotation dia. Okay this is just a simple uh, animation of rotation. Okay for 10 second <coughs> untuk rendering. Kalau kita ambil uh, clear tick glass, kita boleh tengok another uh, rendering animation. Okay. And then another kalau kita ambil uh, tambah sikit, uh, okay, red light for example. Okay, red light. Kita boleh tengok juga lah animation for red light. <coughs> Sebagainya lah. Okay, ini salah satu daripada animation yang paling senang sekali iaitu menggunakan rotation. So once we have done with this one, kita save ya. Yeah? Save all. Next kita akan buat satu lagi uh, part. Yang this this part actually we going to draw a plank. Okay, drawing a plank. First of all, mm, you draw this line. Okay, another line here. Set the smart as using smart direction. Set this one to 100. And then this one to 100. And then this one to possibly uh, 20. Uh, 20 is fine as well. Okay. And then we trim the center of this one. Okay. So click on OK or just extrude. Extrude to the right and to the left. So I want to extrude 50 on the right and direction 50 on the right. Yang ni dalam salah ni saya buat based on what my, my interest is all about. I just want to, to see, okay, this is a plan, a simple plan, okay. Okay, then we we save this file, kita savekan file ni, jadikan dia sebagai plan, okay, save as P-L-A-N-K, plan, save file. Sekarang kita pergi ke file, open, a new, new assembly, okay, click on new assembly, and then uh, kita open plank dia, jadikan plank ni sebagai fix and then we click on a new another innocent component, browse the component as the ball, click on the ball. Okay, so untuk kali ini punya motion, saya akan ajar macam mana nak gunakan gravity. Okay, gravity. So gravity uh, adalah di bawah, di bahagian hujung ni bentuk seperti apple eh. So click on gravity. Kita boleh nampak dia punya ni. Rotation dia ke bawah. So kita tak nak dia ke arah Z, kita nak ke Y direction. Tapi downwards. So you click on gravity, you don't have to click on anywhere else. Kita click on OK je. Bila kita buat calculation, dia akan turun lah. Dengan laju punya sekali eh. So hilang lah bola tu sebenarnya. So the ball is falling down tapi Dia tak ada satu contact surface dengan, tak ada contact surface dengan plank ni. Sepatutnya kena ada lah satu contact surface dengan plank. So, uh, kita kita matekan dulu. Okay, in order to do animation, kita kena matekan dulu. So, kita matekan dia. Click on uh, the plank. 
the plank punya front plane and also the ball punya front plane okay yes click on okay and then another another one is on the right plane and also the ball's right plane click on yes click on okay so sepatutnya kita boleh tahu, kita boleh nampaklah bola tu dekat mana okay and then this gravity ni kita delete dulu so oh, mix tak ada okay uh, since kita tak gunakan kita lupa nak gunakan mix dulu kita, sorry saya buat sekali lagi ya mix uh, first you mix the front plane with the front plane of the ball okay click okay and then you will make the right plane with the right plane of the ball okay so click on okay so basically kalau kita tengok dari depan ni the ball can only move up and down but not left and right on the top the ball cannot move at all okay and on the side the ball can only move top and bottom. So that's enough for us to to say that yang make ni sahaja sudah cukup. Dia ada pergerakan atas dan bawah saja. Dia tak boleh pergi jauh. Okay, now we go to motion study. Okay, click on motion study. Okay, click on the gravity. Uh, sorry, click on the uh, contact. Okay, click on the ball and the plank. Uh, sorry, basic motion. Basic motion. Click on the uh, click on contact. Click on the ball and the plank. Okay, click OK. So kalau kita buat analysis calculation, balik. Uh, and, and then don't forget to add the gravity lah. Once you have done contact, click on gravity. Make sure the gravity is going downwards. So do the analysis, calculate the analysis again. You can see the ball is now sticking to the, dia dah tak turun bawah habis lah. Dia tak turun bawah habis. Dia hanya turun, dia hanya melekat pada ini saja. Okay, so uh, kita cuba buat sekali lagi. Set dia punya ball ni pretty high lah. Untuk tengok kita punya, just to see dia punya. Uh, ni analysis dia. Click on play. Uh, okay, mungkin agak-agak terlalu laju sikit lah. Saya, saya perlahankan dia at 0.25. 0.25 so play uh, ok set dia punya ni bola dia ni higher than ok about that height ok play uh, pun pun agak laju jugalah sebab gravity dia is very fast but you can see you can see dia punya contacting lah gunakan contact dan juga gunakan gravity kita boleh hasilkan Uh, bola yang menyentuh tanpa dia turun ke bawah sampai habis tadi lah another one is by using advanced motion, motion analysis ok, motion analysis ni is another is another good topic as well, click also on uh, you have gravity and solid body you click on edit feature tadi balik remove the material because you don't want the material and the features ni but we just want to use the ball je, use contact group ok, use the ball And then click on uh, restitution. Restitution adalah contohnya 0.4 ni bila mana bola tu dia ada 100%. Tapi bila dia turun dia impact kat sini dia akan naik balik 0.4 je 40% of its uh, forces. Kalau kita letak 0.8 dia akan hasilkan 0.8 of its forces dan dia akan turun sehingga dia 0. So kita setkan dia macam tu and we'll see how this This works. Hmm, 
Okey, saya saya settingkan dia satu boleh eh. Okey. Tengok balik. The ball, okey. Ah, okey. Calculate first. Terlalu laju ke eh. Okey, terlalu laju tapi tapi kalau untuk kalau kita set 0.1 tadi kita boleh nampak kot dia punya bola tu dia agak bola tu dia very uh, dia contact dia 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 ada bumping sikit kalau perasan tadi ok ok one more time kita set balik contact surface and then uh, remove the material We don't need to use the material sebab material kat sini dia tak mainkan peranan langsung Okay what plays a more important role is the restitution Rather than the ni You click on OK Okay and then uh, Set dia punya Set the balls uh, length Okay perasan tak tadi Dia punya bola tu dia ada satu hentakan dia naik balik lah Uh, that's what that's what that is what another way of you doing uh, analysis of the ball. Uh, tapi yang ni mungkin tak ada lah sebab dia dah hmm, kita restart balik lah restart balik. Ah yeah that's it. That's what I'm going to show you. Tadi kita nampak bola tu terus turun ke bawah sebab tak ada contact surface. Now you see that the ball is actually um, the ball is actually um, uh, ada ada sedikit force. Yeah? ada sedikit force. So if you put this higher play around uh, there you can see there's a force acting on that. Okay. You can also set the masa ni, reduce the masa ni, ni terlalu panjang, mungkin you can reduce it to 2 second if you want. So and then you can set dia punya ni untuk playback mode loop. So dia boleh uh, dia akan rotate and then dia buat balik And so on lah. Okay. Alright. So, saya ingat tadi dah 45 minit dah kita explain, saya explain ni. Um, selebih daripada tu, more than that, which is regarding spring, damper, pause, yang ni uh, saya, uh, mungkin you can you can find this, search this by yourself lah. Eh. Tapi yang yang mostly yang you, kita kena guna adalah contact, gravity and motor ni saya dah explain lah dekat dalam uh, um, basic analysis of motion dalam solid work. And then you can you can store this or save this by saving the save animation file. Okay, save this animation file. You can save this animation file and then uh, make it as a video for your presentation. Alright. Any questions so far?